What is the national dream? You got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, how are you gonna make your dreams come true? That was from South Pacific. Um, yeah, I don't know. The national dream is uh, uh, it's not about people having fun. No, it's about uh, limiting greenhouse gas farting. It's no fun. That's not really very good. If you think about countries that, that are fun, I don't know. Do you think that Cuba is fun? No, I don't think so. I think it's a bunch of alcoholics on the beach. But there's plenty of other places besides Cuba where you can be an alcoholic on the beach. And that's where you go on your dirt road diary. This hat doesn't want to talk right now. Back to the Cuba. I've never been there. I, I, uh, they, I, uh, what am I going to tell you? Do I, do I have a dream to go to Cuba? No. No dream to go to Cuba. I did... Um, at one point, consider it. I was reading about Havana. I was trying to figure out if there were hookers in Havana. And apparently there are hookers. Those are prostitutes. Um, those are, you know, like people that, you know, that's basically what they are. And uh, I wanted to know if it was true what they said on the Internet, that uh, there's hookers that hang out in the old hotels in Havana. Wouldn't that be fun? That sounds like it'd be fun. Only if you're into that. Who says you can't have fun in Havana? Maybe you get arrested for for uh, prostitution. I don't know. I wouldn't want to get arrested in Cuba. Why am I talking about prostitution? We're talking about... This is something that I was reading about on the internet. Why were you reading about prostitution in Havana, Bob? I don't know. I was just dreaming about nice warm, nice warm ocean breezes and uh, old Havana and going down for a cup of coffee in the morning and maybe an egg and then going down and getting a nice cigar and going for a walk with a cigar. And then later on, stopping in and having, oh, some rum. I don't know. That, that's sort of the romantic idea. Uh, and they're supposed to be beautiful old, old buildings. So you go for a stroll around and check out all the old buildings. I don't know. Maybe hold will See, as you start thinking about it, you think, well, the prostitutes, does that mean there's bed bugs? Uh, is it mean that, like, is it really a good thing to have? I don't know. It's just big cities in the olden days always had prostitutes. And in Havana is supposed to be a pretty big city. Anyways, I'm not there, and I have no plans to go there, except on a mine trip where we've gone to old Havana, and we've dreamed about old hotels, and there's sultry breezes that come off the ocean and everyone's dressed like Miami Vice. Do you know Miami Vice? Miami Vice is uh, um, a TV show from the 80s. Uh, everybody was wearing white uh, uh, jackets over top of uh, t-shirts that would be kind of uh, uh, neon colored uh, and then they would have no socks, and uh, uh, there were the cops and robbers. I don't know how I got to talking about Miami Vice. Oh, well, anyways, in Cuba, um, I don't know if they, yeah, I guess they, they could use those uh, pastel colors. I was saying neon colors, but they could be pastel neon. I've had enough of this one. I'm just going to take a pause. Breathe.
breathing. Focus. Focus on the breathing. 